Rose at 20 points, along with head coach Rob Senderoff. We'll start us out with this opening stick. Well, listen, great win, um, especially how we won the game. You know, down 18 in the first half, down 13 at halftime. Uh, continued to battle back, and uh, really proud of our guys. A tremendous, tremendous fight uh, and resiliency and toughness and, and all the attributes that you'd want uh, to show in a team as a coach. So really proud of these guys, and um, you know, give Buffalo credit. They're very good, and uh, they came in here with the record that they had for a reason. So. Uh, it was a good win for us, and now we got to move on to the next game. Questions for the players. Danny, can you talk, not only talk about your game winning layup, but it seemed you were just chipping away at the end against Buffalo. It seemed like whenever you tried to make a run, they would push it back out, and then you got back in and then got the lead for good late. Can you talk about the struggles tonight against the Bulls? Yes. We, we was on a run, and we... We was battling, we was battling, and we had a couple hiccups, but we stayed the course, and we made some big shots at the end. Donis made some big shots. J.A. made a big shot. Our team was just finding each other, and we, we started clicking at the end, and we started playing solid team basketball. And when you keep keep going, keep going, eventually you're going to get success. And we came out with the win. Adonis, it seems like whenever I go watch a practice, free throws are always big. Tonight it was especially big that you made your foul shots and you could not let Buffalo get into a rhythm on the offense. Can you talk about your about the team's foul shooting tonight? Uh, I think guys just stepped up to the line when the time was right and had a lot of confidence and just knocked down a lot of shots. Uh, we spent a lot of time uh, taking uh, free throw shots and and coach has a big emphasis on free throw shots every, every day after practice. And uh, we just came out here and uh, it was just another day in practice for us. Are you starting now to, you were, your game has really changed and improved during the season. Are you starting now to become, a, for the better word, coming of age, especially now in this max season? Uh, I know there's a lot of way, long way to go, but it seems like you're just getting, you're just progressing every day, every day uh, I see. Definitely, definitely. That's the goal. I just come, I just come to practice with an open mind every day, willing to get better. And just work hard every day, and uh, eventually it'll show. So talk about the late, uh, late assist to Danny. I mean, it looked like yeah. you guys were kind of looking for that all game long, and you finally got it. I mean, both of you guys talk about because it, it looked like you were kind of looking for it, looking for it. You were kind of looking, and then they just gave you the space for it. Uh, I don't put words in your mouth. <laughs> It's more, more like, more so. It's like uh, I just, I just know where he's at at all times. Just being aware while I'm backing somebody down, and just knowing where everybody is on the floor. Uh, Danny was open at the right time, and I got it to him at the right moment. So it was effective, and we got it. Yeah, we were both in sync. I was telling him the whole time, like, yo, I'm diving. He's letting me get in front of him. Then there, there when he was biting them down, they kept coming to double team, so I was sitting wide open, and he just made a clutch play. And we work on it all the time in practice with the pads, so we just did what we, we're accustomed to doing. Daniel, for you, these last three home games, you put together some solid performances. What type of comfort have you found playing in this gym? I mean, it's my home. Practice here, come here and get up shots daily. I, I know the, I know the uh, rims. Like I, I'm comfortable <laughs> with them. So I mean, and then I'm comfortable with my teammates, and they get me going. They get me in the game. Coach get me going. All the coaches, they trust in me. So it's basically just going out there and doing what I gotta do. I'm just, my game's just been clicking a lot lately. For either of you guys, uh, obviously Buffalo came in undefeated. How big of a game is this for you guys? Uh. Just an ordinary game for us. We know we got to uh, compete at a high level every day. Uh, <clears throat> we know we know we're, we're becoming a second half team now, and uh, we we had a run like this last year, and we we were never rattled to begin with. But like like I said, it's just a regular game. We just have to come to play every game. Yeah, and like Coach said, down 18 at one point. How do you sort of stay focused and all that? Uh, composure. Just just stay composed. Uh, get, uh, get your teammates involved and just staying together. How hard was it to do that when they were making everything? They were shooting like 70%, I think, early in the second half. The ball just keeps going in the bucket. You just keep playing, obviously, just talking about it. Uh, you just got to keep playing, like you said. Uh, you know, eventually they'll miss. And uh, 
when when they miss, we have to capitalize on those misses. And also, we have to come down to try to get stops. And when we get stops, that's that's what happens. They put the last, basically the last six and a half minutes, I think, without a field goal. Uh, six twelve to that one bunny at the end. Uh, I think that's probably one of the best stretches this year I've seen defensively from you guys. And also just dominating them, rebounding. They only got two offensive rebounds and 20, just 22 for the game. That's been a while since she dominated somebody like that on the board. Definitely. I mean, we wasn't trying to lose. We thought about the end goal. People have been counting us out the whole season, and we was thinking we got a chance to come in and take the spotlight away from Buffalo, like Coach told us before the game started. And we knew what we had to do. We didn't come out our best. But, I mean, it's a marathon, not a sprint. So we just started clicking. We did what we had to do, and the end goal was the result that we wanted. We won. What kind of experience are you guys getting from constantly playing games like this at home, where it seems like coming down to the last minute and a half inside of the I'll say I'm starting to get experience because last year I wasn't in, now I'm in, so I'm starting to learn, learn more and more how to handle myself, what to do, what not to do. Like I'm just staying the course and not doing anything extra, doing what I have to do to help the team win and nothing more, nothing less. All right, well, let the players get out here. All right, though. Good job. Danny, good job. I'll see you guys tomorrow, uh, Thursday. Smart decisions, right, Daddy? Class, AD, class. Right. Rob, you mentioned perseverance. Zabo was saddled with foul trouble yeah. all night long. If you were down, you had to use three, almost four timeouts in the first half. You held it one left in your pocket, and somehow you pulled it off. Yeah, just toughness of the guys. That's that's really what I would say. Uh, at the end of the day, you know what, um, the, the guys in the, in the team, I say the last huddle. Uh, honestly, I sat there, I didn't say a word. Jalen Avery spoke the entire time to everybody. And, uh, you know, when he has that type of leadership, and uh, that was the possession where uh, Adonis dropped it off to, uh, to, to Danny. I mean, they were all in the huddle saying, we're going, we have a play. We're going to Adonis on this play. Um, and that wasn't me saying it. That was the four guys in the huddle and the six guys that were behind the huddle. They were all saying the exact same thing. So when you have that type of competitiveness and togetherness, you know, you can you can win these type of games where um, you get yourself in a hole, uh, but you stay together and you find a way to win. Especially after they, they just kept hitting everything, yeah. it seemed. Not only in the first half, but almost midway in the second half they were still well in the 60 percentile how did you find a way at just, the end to, 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 to get the stops that you yeah. need? just gutted it out and stayed the course and guys uh stepped up and made big plays and you know what when they did miss we did a great job defensive rebounding they only had two offensive rebounds so uh you know they they didn't miss many but when they did uh we did a great job getting those defensive rebounds Coach, seems like the past couple of days, or past couple of games, especially early in the past, you guys have been honest. What's sort of gone into that decision? Yeah, you know what? I, I think what's happened is, you know, everybody has keyed on Jalen Walker so much uh, that it's opened it up for some other guys. And I think as Adonis makes, like tonight, he had five assists, two turnovers. As he makes better decisions with the ball, it'll open it back up for Jalen Walker as the season goes on. So, um, you know, I think. Tonight, you know, Adonis was able to, he was able to get going. They were playing him one-on-one -on -one and, uh, you know, he made great decisions. So, you know, when, when, you, when you got that, that's what you're trying to go to. I mean, you can't go to him every possession, but you're trying to get it inside. And uh, Buffalo does a really good job trying to deny, you know, your perimeter guys the ball. So it sort of opens it up to, to him. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? I, I think that again comes down to the players in the locker room has very little. I think sometimes you know. I, I think maybe the coach gets credit or blame. At the end of the guy, t day, it's those guys in the locker room. Like they've come together. I, I've done a better job in terms of you know getting roles allocated a lot of that's because of consistency you don't know who's going to do what early in the early in the year especially with what we lost but I think 
confidence in each other, competing every day. Uh, they don't want to lose, right? So when you don't want to lose, uh, you, you're going to stick together. And when things aren't going well, you're going to figure things out. And that's what tonight was about. And they, uh, our, our roster, the guys that played, the guys that didn't play, they just did a phenomenal, phenomenal job sticking together the entire night. Huge, right? Yeah. He's getting better, man. He's getting better. Danny's, you know, Danny's getting better. Adonis is getting better. Um, you know, I think Jalen tonight, he wasn't able to score because they did a great job of really in the first half denying him. And, and he got a little frustrated in the first half. But in the second half, I thought he did a great job guarding and, and staying composed. Uh, Jalen Avery always does that six assists and one turnover. You know, and Kevin made a big shot early, last, last year, early in the year. Uh, if Kevin wasn't playing well, he would not have been able to make that three on the extra pass from Jalen Avery. He just wouldn't have made it. And now, as a senior, he's able to do that. Now, the, you know, to me, the key is getting some of these other guys, like Mitch is sort of in the tank a little bit of late, so we've got to get him playing better. BJ was sick, so he didn't play much. And Dez has really carved out a really nice role where he's – it, it, it really, really guarding the ball and putting pressure on guys. And he's been great at driving to the basket. And, you know, tonight he had six points in 16 minutes. And I thought he, he helped change the flow of the game defensively. So, uh, and then we're going to need other guys that, you know, AK here and there, he's got to get ready. And there's going to be a game that we're going to need him and, uh, and Jonathan and the whole group. So that's really what it's, a, that's really what it is. Yeah, I mean, you know what? <laughs> Again, I say the same thing. Like, you have a guy like Jalen Avery on your roster who is solely about winning. That's really all he cares about ever. I'm not going to sit here and tell you he's perfect as a player because there's some days that he doesn't play great or some days that he might, you know, m miss a shot or, or, you know, maybe gets beat off the bounce. There have been a couple games that he struggled defensively, but his heart is always in the right place. Uh, his competitiveness and, and his will to win is, is at a, a really high level. And uh, again, as a sophomore, he went to the NCAA tournament. He lost a lot of guys off that team. As a junior, you know, he sort of helped get the locker room where he needs to be. And he basically, not, not only does he say what I would say, but sometimes he says it before I get a chance to say it. So um, when you have somebody like that on your team, you know, you have a chance to have a good team. So he's so really he taken that. He, that. He, he really did call the play. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he called the play. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes, yes, he called the play. And, to, and everybody was in agreement. Like, there was no, well, should, who, where should, <laughs> should the play be? He, we wanted to get the ball inside. Adonis was doing a great job in there. So we, and, and passing it out and getting another guy shot. So he, he yeah, he called the play. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you just stand there and clap. Right. <laughs> Any other questions? All right, fellas. Thank you.